and how do they fix this thing if this so-called top hat, this containment vessel, doesn't work? <laughs> You know, that's uh, that's the million dollar question. I think it's going to be the million dollar problem, a uh, billion dollar problem, I'm sure. And, and therein lies, you know, what we really should be looking at right now, the, the fact that even if it's not delaying uh, imports now or, or causing delays now, it very well could. And, and we are, what, uh, maybe two, three weeks away from hurricane season. Now, at this point, we don't really think about a hurricane hitting land and, and causing damage, but actually just disrupting any kind of uh, oil booms or anything they have out there uh, trying, to, trying to stop the leaks. So, uh, well, Carl, what kind of uh, amount are we talking about? Something like eight, you know, Olympic-sized swimming pools or something? I mean, is that sort of what is out there in the Gulf of Mexico right now? When does that start to move into the Mississippi Delta? Well, I mean, that's the thing. And, and you know, as, as the winds shift, as the, as the waters move, you know, it, you we're seeing it get closer and closer to the shorelines. And at this point, it's not even a matter if it hits the shorelines. It's a matter if it's in the water. And as the ships move through the water and bring it in and, you know, and, and carry it along, therein lies the problems. And that's where we'll see, we'll see delays coming, going forward.